I'm sorry, we gotta go windows down. Side is the same, doors are the same. Now the handles are different, so it's a different door handle. Same mirrors, the roof is the same. We have a redesigned air intake, slightly different, slightly taller wing. And you'll notice the rear bumper has a little different balance, a little different, a different piece there. And then the tail lights are smoked, they're tinted, and that's a, that's what they look like stock. And then. They are um, you know, very different from the from the 901.1. So you know, notice the the intake section here different than the in the previous gen car. Same with the the wing being different, with the tail light being different there. Interior buckets, lightweight buckets are the same. Obviously, manual. Uh, these have uh, the option for Bose and then Apple CarPlay. I haven't spent any time. I need to get in there and see what that feels like. The sport button on the manual is what engages uh, auto rev match uh, and I think a couple of other things uh, changes. I'll have, to, I'll have to look that up. You have uh, axle lift there and the exhaust button. Uh, Chris's valves are disconnected because he has a shark lips bypass. Clutch pedal feels lighter than the, the GT4. He's going to drive my RS in front and lead me out. So if you see... Uh, if you see me falling behind, just slow up a little bit. Just a little bit, yeah. Axle lift up. But I'm excited. This is my first time. I haven't even ridden in a manual, let alone driven a manual yet. So the uh, the mirror is a little different. Notice that. Steering wheel's different. You know, new steering wheel. Wow, that clutch travel is really long. My G RS is lowered in the front. I don't think Chris lowered his yet but uh, we were, I was scraping my RS on some of these back roads and he wasn't. Dot 2 has the same horsepower as the RS. Optional manual, no cost, six speed manual. It also has the, uh, has the cup, cup car, a cup car variant motor. So we have better oiling, uh, less issues with finger follower wear, hopefully no issues. And so the, you know, the engines should be a bit more stout than with less potential issues than the previous gen. And I'm going to be driving a 911 Touring or, uh, later today, maybe tomorrow. The Touring doesn't have the wing. It's been a while since I've been in my GT3, my original GT3. Wow, the motor does sound a lot different. So easy, look at that. Auto rev match. Oh, way easier than the 997 to drive uh, the manual. It took me a little while. My buddy's 997 that I drove several years ago it took me a while, a little while to get used to, but I'm like immediately ready to roll. Yeah, that four liter, it sounds, sounds a little different, but man, it sounds amazing. I guess I could take, since I'm not going to be trailer my car, I guess I could take my tow hooks off the bottom. I could see them hanging low. Steering, uh, you know, the, the big thing on the RS is the steering feel you get on the front end. You have 265s instead of 245s in the front, slightly wider track than you do in the, in the GT3. But, you know, again, unless you're at the limit, I don't. Shoot, I don't notice much of a difference. In the clutch pad, the, the, the pedal travel is a little different than mine, or I'm sorry, than the GT4. I wondered how manageable the car would be with a with a manual, you know, because of the speed at which it climbs the 9,000 RPMs, but it seems... Yeah, this four liter sounds way different. It 
definitely feels narrower than my than my RS. Super direct, very easy to shift. Look at auto rev mat down to the second. <laughs> that you know the new four liter does make a little less noise now and i'm comparing mine that has the you know there's the dundon full exhaust versus the shark works but there's a little less mechanical sound to this and i like to think of myself as a uh, as a gt3 sound connoisseur but this four liter definitely has a different note Dare I say, it sounds more refined. It sounds a little less fragile, if you will. I can definitely feel a little torque, a little torque spike, a little torque difference in this. Turn in, handling. Fantastic. You know, as much as I like the GT4, if I'm you know, if you have the choice between that and this in a manual, no question. So now, the obvious question is, do I bag the RS and go to a manual GT3? Again, I think the perfect combination is 911 Touring, regular seats, more you know, much simpler car, do less options do a less aggressive exhaust and and you have the, the amazing combo maybe retrofit some back seats in it for your you know for little kids let's go windows down for a minute I don't mind this speed. I get a chance to experience just the little things of the car. I, I want to hear that the, uh, yeah, he has the Bose system. Just to hear what that sounds like. Well, that was uneventful. This feels lighter though, less, it feels less bulbous, you know. Yeah, well, I think it's a little bit with that motor too. Yeah. Yeah, this thing's so planted in the front. It never feels like it's ever pushing up. Yeah. Sorry, we gotta go windows down. I know it's gonna be a little loud, but I need a break, break. 
I'm paying attention. I keep reaching for the paddles. I mean, we've been driving for three or four hours today. Chris is a much better driver than me, so I'm having to having to have him drive slower. But the, this manual is, I mean, I guess everything you, you would expect. 
it's cool that you have the, it tells you what gear you're in on the screen, just like the PDK would. So that's GT3 901.2 manual. I don't know what else to say other than uh, manuals are awesome. I want one. I want all of these. So what happens when the when the force pulls you back? Your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor. Foot to the floor. Foot to the floor.